Hello guys from Farrico Town, today I'm going to talk about the semi-final match between Jack Draper and Yannick Sinner. I will also give you a preview of the US Open final of tomorrow between Taylor Fritz and Yannick Sinner. First of all, let's start with the semi-final match. Uh, Jack Draper and Yannick Sinner was an incredible match from uh, Yannick Sinner. What a win. Um, huge congrats for uh, Jack Draper's run at the US Open, which has been amazing. He can be proud of his week. He can take only the positives from this incredible US Open run. And I think uh, the first two sets, Jack Draper managed to keep the pace with Yannick Sinner. He lost 7-5, 7-6. And then in the first set, he could not keep up with Yannick Sinner's uh, power. Intensity was too much uh, for him. I think uh, Jack Draper has so many qualities. I think if he can improve, he can, be, he can become... A future slam champion, he can even win uh, big titles, he can even become one of the next-gen guys to do something really important in the game of tennis. I wanted to say huge congratulations for him, even, even though he lost. Um, it was a nice uh, the handshake at the net between the two men. It was uh, a match uh, played in uh, really difficult conditions, really humid conditions, very hot. Uh, very difficult to play. Um, we even saw Jack Draper vomiting uh, during the match, which was an unlikely uh, situation, even clean up the floor. But that, that is just a detail from the match. But coming up with the US Open final tomorrow, I think for me, of course, the favorite is Yannick Sitter. But let's not underestimate Taylor Fritz, who is a very dangerous player. He's the first player after he's the first American player after a long time to reach a US Open final after getting the better of Francis uh, Tiafo. It's the first ever major final for Taylor Fritz. And for Yannick Sinner, it will be the second major final of his career and the second major final of this season. Of course, I would say, if I had to give a prediction, I would say Yannick Sinner wins it either in four or five. I think um, Taylor Fritz will be very motivated to do well, especially that he will have the crowd on his side. He, won, uh, he really wants to make the Americans uh, proud. It's really the final that I did not expect. Well, I did expect that Yannick Sinner was going to go maybe all the way, but maybe I thought it was going to be an opponent like, I don't know, uh, Carlos Alcaraz, Novak Djokovic, uh, guys like that, but it's not the case. But at least in this edition of the US Open, we're sure to have a new champion, whether it's going to be Yannick Sinner or uh, Taylor Fritz. Taylor Fritz has made huge improvements. He played so well last night against Francis Tiafo in a brutal five set, a grueling match. It lasted uh, so long. Bad luck for Francis Tiafo. He went out of gas in the fifth set. As for Jack Draper, uh, Jack Draper already made a huge effort to keep up with Yannick Sir in the first two sets. He even, I think, had the chance even to win. The first set, uh, the only sets that he lost in the US Open were the, um, the sets lost yesterday against Sinner, three sets. And before that, Jack Draper didn't even lose a set, which was an insane uh, statistic. I want to say, of, uh, want to say, good luck to both guys tomorrow. As an Italian, I will root for Yannick Sinner. This is inevitable, um, but I hope to see a really nice match and... I really would love to see Yannick Sinner lift another trophy, lift a US Open title, which will be incredible after everything that has happened uh, for him in the last weeks with all the polemics about the doping, the scandal. And uh, of course, I believe he's innocent, but we'll see what will happen uh, tomorrow night. I'm really looking forward to this uh, fight. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. As always, if you like the channel, hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and see you next time.